For the first couple of hours of work today, I had to keep telling myself there's no time for crying because there's still work to be done. So there's my self-isolation day 32. Hello, Paul Talkers and other viewers. The U.S. Postmaster General asked Congress last week to help save the Postal Service. Since the coronavirus, the mass mailings that make up the main source of its funds have dried up. I would never say that America is the best at anything except maybe our Postal Service. It is about 230 years old and predates the Constitution. We have telephones, we have cable TV, we have wired internet, and we have Wi-Fi, but there are still parts of this enormous country where the best way to communicate with them is using the postal service. Physical mail. For as long as I've been in California, I've taken advantage of the vote-by-mail system, which I think should be the norm, not the exception in this huge country. As someone with an immunocompromised system, I rely upon the medications that my pharmacy mails to me with the U.S. Postal Service. And every December, Santa Paul renews his admiration and devotion to the U.S. Postal carriers who drop off the Christmas things that he can't drop off in person. There's only one reason why the Trump administration would want to let the postal system fail, and it has nothing to do with competitive capitalism. Our Postal Service and the vote-by-mail option working together are the things most likely to get conservative voted out of office. Now for once, I can offer some action items. One, share anything on social media that you can about hashtag SaveUSPS. Two, buy some stamps from the online store at USPS.com. They might not get delivered for a while because of the excessive demand right now for the stamps, but it is a tiny individual action that can help. Three, most importantly, contact Congress and tell them to do the right thing and support the postal system. I use at ResistBot on Twitter because it's so easy. All I had to do was follow them and then DM them with the word resist. And it walks you through step by step the process to contact uh, your representatives in Congress and tell them in a letter what your opinions are. And I said, do whatever it takes to save the postal system. What will you do to join me in supporting the U.S. Postal Service? And would you like me to mail you a letter? Let me know in the comments below. And let's hope tomorrow is better.